If you love listening to podcasts but can't remember anything you've learned from them, you're wasting your time. The wealth of information from these long-form conversations can help you form habits, make better financial decisions, and peer into the lessons learned of some of the world's most successful people. Yet, days or even hours after you've listened, you've probably forgotten all of the key points that you thought were so important. Even if you try to manually take notes, listening to podcasts in the car makes that a difficult thing to keep up with. It's just too fragmented to be a useful system all of the time. Enter Snipped. It's November 2025, and Snipped is the app of the month. On their website, Snipped says it is the AI-powered podcast player. But great. What does that even mean? The most useful thing that Snip does is allow you to save snippets of a podcast and sync it automatically with Readwise. That's the whole premise of the app. So I slow rolled this one for a while. I had the app early on when there was a lot more in the free plan. As the subscription was added, I just didn't know if I would use it enough to justify the cost. Ultimately, this year I did the free trial and forgot to cancel before my billing period was over, and now I'm glad that I did. It definitely felt like a waste for the first few weeks, though, as I forgot that I was even paying for it. Now, it's a no-brainer app that I use every time that I'm in the car. It plays back just like any other podcast app. All of your favorite shows are there. You can skip forwards and backwards. You have a queue of all the latest episodes that greets you when you open the app. And you can add things to the top or bottom of the queue as you search through the shows. You can then create snips via the app with your headphones by using the default command for go back or in the car for me, I use the go back button on my car steering wheel, which lets me do this completely hands-free while using Apple CarPlay. There's even an Apple Watch app, so you can take snips while you're on the move. Personally, I listen to a lot of interview style podcasts. I certainly don't catch every episode of every show, but shows that have a lot of depth like Huberman Labs, Diary of a CEO, or Modern Wisdom are great for this type of thing. When you take a snip, you get an audible ding, so you know that it went through. What do you do with all these snips, though? That's the beauty of Readwise integration. You can automatically sync Readwise with your second brain, whether it's in Notion, Craft, Obsidian, even Apple Notes. Many other Notes apps have manual sync processes as well. Readwise will then surface these during your daily review, or you can chat with your highlights online right within the Readwise website now as well. Personally, I share some anecdotes, personal experiences, and quotes from different podcasts and books in my Perspective Shifts section of my newsletter, The Digital Pulse. Recently, this snipped app got a much-needed revamp of its CarPlay interface. For the longest time, it was just a manual cue, and you had to update that within the app on the phone with no way to search for new podcasts or new releases once you were inside of the car. Discovery, as far as podcasts go, is no better or worse on Snipped than any other platform. Generally, it's just hard to discover new and upcoming podcasts because the big shows get all of the limelight. That's no different here. You can browse shows by which ones have the most snips, which is unique to this app. Basically, that might give you an indication if something is worth listening to. The other cool thing is that you can click into an episode and read some of the popular takeaways, so you don't have to waste three hours listening to something that might not be useful for you. I've come across a few shows this way as well that I wouldn't have listened to if it weren't for those overviews, so that's been really helpful. The other cool thing you can see inside of the show and episode are the different books that have been recommended. This is really helpful if you're like me and like to take book recommendations from podcasts and then stack them both on my physical and digital shelves so that I have a hard time figuring out what I'm going to read next. The interface overall inside of Snipped makes a lot of sense. It's pretty easy to use. I really have no notes on how to improve things within the user interface of the app, and navigation inside of the app. The biggest downside of the app is that it's yet another subscription. I can't complain too much, though, because I don't think there's anything else out there that does what this app does, at least right now. Do I think it's a steep price for the slow pace of development? I do. It took far too long to make updates to the CarPlay screen, and it's still not perfect. The iPad app is just the phone app blown up, and there's no desktop app to be had at this point in time. 
which is disappointing for something that costs $84 a year. Readwise itself is around $100 a year, so the fact that this is almost the same cost is pretty insane. Sure, it's a niche product, not everyone cares to capture highlights from podcasts, but I also wish this would exist for audiobooks as well. I find just as much knowledge in podcasts as I do YouTube these days. A lot of the podcasts in this app are on YouTube as well, and I choose to listen to the audio-only version so I can do this while I can while I commute and take snips. I found book recommendations, work through personal issues, turn snips into articles and newsletters, and keep collecting new insights every time that I hop in the car. So while it is expensive, this is one of the ways I've chosen to invest in myself, to keep learning and keep discovering new perspectives. For me, it's absolutely worth it. That's it for this one. Stay tuned for more videos about Snipped throughout the month of November. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Later.